Dad? Dad? Are you there? Can you hear me? What is this place? It's a school I attended before Judgment Day. Why are we here? You know why. Dad, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. It's your birthday. Of course it matters. Besides, you're the one always saying that you're old enough to scavenge. Well, today, you actually are. But we're not even supposed to be here. The Resistance said Skynet was around here. I wouldn't take everything John Connor says as gospel. What do you have against him? He used to be a real asshole. We went to school together. This school, actually. You've met John Connor? I didn't know him personally, but everybody knew about him. I guess this was just one of the schools he got expelled <gasps> from. I doubt he'd remember it. Okay, it looks safe. You can follow me. You're already on your way here, aren't you? I don't need you to babysit me, Dad. Just get yourself over here. I need your help. There you are. Now, let's start searching this place. What are we even looking for? A time capsule. What's a time capsule? Well, it's a, a box filled with letters, pictures, and other things that we buried when I was a student here. Why did you bury it? To preserve a piece of our lives, I guess. Since it's been in the ground this whole time, I'm hoping that it survived Judgment Day. If I'd known that the world would end just a couple of years later, I would have hidden something more useful in there. And again, no one could have predicted that. What would you have hidden? I don't know. Beer or something? Here lies history. I think I found it! Stand back. You know, back in my day, parents used to say that they wanted to give their children more than they had growing up. And since that won't be possible for you, I'd like you to have at least a taste of what I had. Okay, let's see what we've got. Something? Really? A machine? Yeah. We've got enough of those around here, don't we? <laughs> okay. What else is in there? Some baseball cards, a cassette tape. Dad, I I think we should go. I really don't need anything. Okay. How about this? Huh. I, I know it's not much. Happy birthday, Jacob. 
That's cool. Thanks, Dad. Oh, look at this. That's a letter I wrote to myself. What does it say? Future Frank. That's me. If you don't teach your son to mind his own business, I'm going to be very disappointed with ha, you. Ha ha. Very funny. I'll hang on to it for later. Fine. Let's just go. It's not safe here. Wait. There's something else here. Well, this one says that it needs to be hand-delivered. Oh, let's see what's so important. Dad, we don't have time for this. And it's not for you. I doubt anyone's waiting for it. How would you like it if a stranger read your letter? Are you serious? I'm just trying to follow your rules. You know what? It's your birthday. I won't open it unless we find the proper recipient. It'll be our little project. I promise. What? Come here. Stay low. As soon as it comes closer, we make a run for it, right? Now go! Come on, Jacob! Stay close! I'm right behind you! Through here! Sound too good. Don't worry about me. Get out of here. Understand? But Dad.
Safe. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please let me know. Where are you? Jacob! You're, you're hurt. They're coming. We need to go. We're gonna be alright. Come on. Back! Move back! Dad! Jacob! Run! <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. What? Can't say that it never happened to me. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd find them here. Are you okay? You were talking in your sleep. Just a bad dream. Baron's looking for you. We've got visitors that she wants you to meet. Visitors? A tech comm unit. At least what's left of it. Just a heads up. Something's going on. Everyone's walking around nervous. Thanks. I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... What? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there, and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge. Find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Where it is that you captured a new Terminator model. That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers. So that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do?
All right. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. Set? Rivers, open the gate. We're moving out. We're approaching Northridge. All right. It's a good time to bring everyone up to speed. This is a rescue mission, as simple as it gets. We go in, secure the perimeter, and prepare the evacuation. I don't want anyone to draw Skynet's attention. We're not prepared for that. We keep our heads down and evacuate those people to safety. What if there's no one to evacuate? Care to elaborate, Corporal? Outposts don't stay silent for that long. If no one's been reporting in, I'd expect to find the remains of a massacre, sir. I think introductions are in order. The eternal optimist sitting next to me is Corporal Farrow, an explosive specialist. Sergeant Rivers and I have already been introduced. What about you, Evans? What's your story? I've read your file. You're the sole survivor from the 113th, right? 113th? I've heard about it. How'd you manage to escape? Supposedly, he took down a T-800 with his bare hands. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Is it true? Did John Connor select us for this assignment? That's right. I'd like to meet him. Complete the mission and you just might. We're getting close. Get ready. Northridge is up ahead. Evans, give us the sit rep. No signs of any resistance soldiers at the gate. <sighs> Not good. Three T-600 approaching one o'clock. T-600? They're still around? Let's not get sloppy. We don't know what's behind that gate. This is a tech comm mission. I want us to move fast. I want us to be efficient. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's clear the area. Evans, you want to start us off? Affirmative. Everyone on me! Target acquired. Everyone, there's no one here, no bomb. 
bodies? No nothing! Watch for reinforcements. Understood. This way! Alright, maybe we'll get ready. <laughs> Two in front. Frosty, we don't want to shoot friendlies. If there are any friendlies left alive, the doors to the garage are wide open. What the fuck is going on, Sergeant? Where is everyone? Let's clear the area first. We'll figure it out later. Evans, how's it looking on your side? That's all of them. Then secure the perimeter. What do we do now? We need to report this. Find a radio station, and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. No bodies? This doesn't make any sense.
comms. Well, this should be it. Sergeant, found a radio station upstairs. I understand you're not happy with the situation, but for now you'll have to stay put. At least until I discuss your next move with Connor. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Awaiting further instructions. Over and out. Alright. Looks like we're turning in for the night. I understand that not everything went as planned today. There are still a lot of unanswered questions here. But for now, get some rest. Tomorrow will be when the real work starts. Yes, sir. Rivers, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about your performance today. Sir. Each of us has been selected for this mission because we all have something to contribute. When we don't do our part, people die. That's what happened during my previous assignment. So I need you to be more focused. Is that understood, Rivers? Yes, sir. <laughs> 